the university, the cradle of the mind. You again? Do not Do f- touch right me. Oh, they have to import you, mother. Are you loving and kind? F- you. The fountain of knowledge. Children cannot consent to puberty blockers. What do you think? I strongly disagree. Where young adults go to prepare themselves for real life. They can't go see rated R movies. They can't um, drink. They can't get a tattoo. But they can make permanent decisions that will impact their life. Absolutely. It's not your business. It's not your business. No, it's not yours. Is it your business then? Yeah. Ah! Well said. Thank you for your time. That's a good way to finish it. Time. Why are you transferring out of the university? Um, first of all, uh, I don't really fit in here. I have a bit of a... This is real people who have already gone through real life. Let's see the difference. Can men get pregnant? <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know. No. no? You don't know? I don't know. I believe a man can get pregnant. Sometimes? Uh, I might have learned this in some class, I think. I might have learned this in some class, that man can get pregnant. Really, that's what they're teaching you? Okay. Depends on what they identify as. (laughs) No? (laughs) I think, like, yeah, technically, yeah. But if you identify as male, but you're biologically a female, you can. Yes. Can men get pregnant? No. That's a stupid question. (laughs) But yeah, no. 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 Was that a trick question? No. People are even asking if it's a trick question. Unfortunately, in today's day and age, no, it isn't. It's not a trick question. It's a real question. I don't think so. No, impossible. You don't have a vagina to get pregnant. I'm getting a little worried about where this conversation is going. So I will escape this conversation. Now watch this. Watch what some students, watch how they tackle the answer. I'm sorry. What's so worrisome about it? I feel like this is a controversial topic. I don't want to... Is it? I don't want to answer. (laughs) We're not doing this. (laughs) (laughs) Is it controversial? It's controversial, definitely. They just walk away. I think the reason that they're walking away is that they're afraid that they say what they think and what they think goes against the narrative of the school and they might get ostracized for their opinion. I think that's why they're not answering the questions and they're just saying, oh, it's controversial. They don't want to get in trouble, especially with the teachers. It might affect their grades. What if some crazy leftist teacher sees the video and then calls them out for their answer and then calls them a bigot, a misogynist, a fascist, a transphobe, you know, all this ists and obes that they call you if you don't go with whatever they're saying. So I think these students are actually afraid to say what they think. I might have to pass because I feel like that's a strange question for at least in the current times, you know? Come on, you know that. Come on, man. You're a man, right? Yes, sir. You, can you get knocked up? No, sir. All right, then why would you ask me something crazy like that? It is a little crazy. Oh, you mean because trans people say that they can do that? No. What do you, men? How can men get pregnant? You haven't gotten pregnant? No. The amazement on people's faces, they're like, what are you talking about? How, like, what's this, what kind of question are you asking me? Is this for real? Like, is this is this a stupid question? I mean, if there is a trans man who was assigned female at birth, I'm not a professional on gender studies in any way. Why do you have to be a professional? To know that a man cannot get pregnant. Why do you have to be a professional in gender studies to know that a man cannot breastfeed? Like, what special thing... What special education would you have to go through? What special training would you have to go to to know those things? You only need a pair of eyes and some common sense, which is not that common. I guess, in my opinion, like, um, you don't have to be biologically, like, biologically male to be a man. And so, yes, men can get pregnant. If you don't have to be a biological male to be a man, then what requirements do you have to meet to actually be a man? So if you don't have to be a biological man to be a man, what are the requirements? What's the threshold? Okay, so this is the threshold. If you pass that, you're a man. And if you don't, you're not. The only requirement needed to be a man is to be a biological man. There's no other requirement. (laughs) You and I, we're we're not, we can't get pregnant. (laughs) No, no, no. You know, I'm talking to college students today. Some of them are saying absolutely yes. What's going on there? 
I don't know. This world's going to hell. That's all I know. I don't see how they can physically get pregnant. I have no idea. I've never heard of that ever. What on earth is going on there? Yeah, I'm not sure. Man. I never. I don't think that's real. People are shocked. They're like, I don't know. Just, just let me go. Don't ask me these stupid questions. It's what you call an illusion. I call it um, a delu uh, delusion. illness of the mind. It's the nature of what's going on with media and everything else. They've, they've, they've grown accustomed to whatever it is. And, yeah. and so, yeah, they probably they can believe that they could get pregnant. But the reality is they can't. Men don't have the necessary parts in order to carry a child to term. I couldn't say. have explained well, it better. That's a hot topic. Spot I would on. say they're a little bit confused, but um, obviously it's tough to say, especially in this the campus. <laughs> you see, it's tough to say, especially in this campus. They're afraid to say how they think. And in a university where ideas are meant to be challenged, where you go to expand your knowledge, to expand your understanding of the world, and <laughs> And you cannot say what you think because it's tough, because it's challenging, especially in this college. That's insane. We're talking to some people today that are saying, no, men can't get pregnant. Uh, what's going on there? Well, I think they believe that if you have a vagina, you're a woman, which is not necessarily the case. What? <laughs> which is not necessarily the case? Okay, then what's the case to actually be a woman? What's the necessary case to actually be a woman. Because the only thing that I can think of is to have a vagina. I cannot think of anything else. If it's a woman biologically, sure she can get pregnant. So this she isn't ovaries, am I right? Yeah. Okay, so she's a female. You so know? this is not good evidence to show that men can get pregnant. No, that's an illusion. No, not in my opinion. She's a biological woman saying that she's a man. So yeah, she might say she's a trans man, but she's still a woman. Physically, she's still a woman. That's a false message you send it to children because somewhere along the line, a child is going to see that. Well, you mentioned children. This individual wrote a children's book. It says, in my daddy's Why? belly. Why? Why would you do something like that when you know you're misleading children? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. See, I mean, it's hard enough to get up in the morning to go to school. And then they got to go to school and believe that, okay, I want to wear a dress, I'm a little boy. I mean, come on, you got to, children got to live their life. At least let them choose, but they forcing it on them. Would you ever read your children that book? No, because that would confuse them. Do not touch me. What are you doing? You're an adult. You don't shove people. We don't you. Do you think we should sterilize like, autistic kids? Shut the f up. So why do you think they don't just present their evidence? Well, because here's the deal. Either they don't know how to do that, or they have no evidence, um, or they're, they believe their emotion is enough for evidence. If you have to result to violence, you know, you, you, you don't have evidence. That's not okay. This is what you do when you can't have a, when you don't want to have a conversation. I find it amazing that the people who say they're the most tolerant, the most accepting, the most open, but then when you challenge them, and you show them opinions that goes against what they think, what they feel, then the only thing they know how to do is to shut you down, to shut you up. Man. For safety purposes, I don't want to give away my identity. I hope that's okay. You okay, don't want that's to do okay. I don't want to give out my identity. Okay, sure. that's fine. Yeah, of course. I agree with this. So when you say for safety reasons, what do you think is going to happen if people know you agree with this? I'm losing my scholarship, my internships, everything, man. You think PSU will yes, take away your scholarships will. and internships yes, if will. you agree with this? Yeah. So you're taking a bold risk here coming to talk to us. Yes, yes I am. Yes, they will. They very much will. Why it is feel... not a false statement. So you're taking a bold risk, but you still felt compelled to come and talk to us. Yes. Why do you feel so compelled? I don't want to, do to be that? silenced anymore. Good man. I'm done. They don't want to hear anything that goes against what they believe the truth is. And we all ha have some version of our truth. But I think that there's some things who cannot be challenged. For example, children. Children cannot consent to hormone blockers, to puberty blockers, for the simple reason that they're kids. But these people apparently feel that saying that should be 
cancelled, that you shouldn't say that. So what do you recognize about that behavior as Portland State? They don't want you to talk about things that they don't agree with. They consider free speech to be what they believe in and that's it. That's the only free speech that you're allowed to say is what they, what you agree with with them. It's an institution-supported narrative and yeah. nothing outside of that frame. Yeah. Uh, that's how I feel at least. Where these students aren't going to be censured for trying to shut down conversation. A lot of them are going to be rewarded. The professors are going to tell them a great job. I think the universities are completely lost. I think if you're not going to university to either do something in STEM, be a doctor, be an engineer, anything apart from that is a total waste of your money. The only thing they're doing is trying to brainwash you or your kids. At this point, the universities are completely lost, completely gone. And I think people just should stop going to universities to study something other than, like I said, doctor engineers. If you're going to college, to university, to do something other than that, save your money, study a trade, you're going to be much better off. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and like always, see you in the next one.